Imperialism is the policy by which strong nations take over weaker nations. <laughs> Causes of imperialism are natural resources to manufacture goods. One example was the belly rub because Congo was hungry for natural resources. The second cause was new markets because they needed them to sell products. Um, the third one was military bases and coaling stations to refuel big ships. The fourth one was the Turner Frontier Thesis. And the fifth one was um, social Darwinism. And that's where the, the biggest nation were the ones who survived over the weaker nations. Some of the first steps during, toward in the uh, imperialism was that America focused more and more on expanding its trade and acquiring new territories. Um, they started this before the Civil War in 1967. Um, William Seward bought Alaska <laughs> from Russia for 7.2 million dollars, and that was, and then America acquired. Um, Hawaii as well because they took over their government and overthrew the queen whose name I cannot pronounce but <laughs> causes of the Spanish American War are Cubans rebelled American businesses had 50 million invested in Cuba. Jose Marti launched a war for independence. Call Yellow Press were newspapers that used sensational headlines and exaggerated stories in order to promote readership. And the Dillon letter insulted the president. Yes. People referred to the war as a splendid little war because sorry, of the ease and thoroughness okay. of Americans' victory. It created a new dilemma for Americans. Oh, that's awful. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Some five. effects of the Spanish-American War is the Treaty of Paris end of the war. The Teller Amendment passed by Congress when it declared war on Spain. It prevented the U.S. from taking possession of Cuba. Isn't this project? Oh my God! You guys are being way too loud.